So if you're like me, you've probably found about a bazillion different uses for magnets, especially the really strong ones. These magnets right here are from computer hard drives. They're ridiculously strong and they're really useful in a lot of projects. Let me show you how you can get them if you've got a couple of old hard drives laying around. So obviously the first thing you need are some old hard drives. You can get these about anywhere. Uh, maybe you got a friend or something that does some computer work, he's got a bunch laying around or, or your uh, IT department or something at your work or whatever. Or maybe you've even just got some from some computers you've done some work on. Before you throw them away, grab those magnets out of there. So far all of the hard drives I've taken apart take a number 9 Torx bit. Uh, and you can get these as a as a set. I think I bought a set of five, like number five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, a little set of these small Torx bits. They're a lot less common than the larger ones, but they're not all that hard to find. So find a number nine Torx bit. Probably need a pair of pliers, a utility knife, and uh, let's take this apart. So all hard drives are fairly similar. You've got kind of one side that's a little more open, and there's usually another side that's got this kind of metal cover on there. With, there's usually a sticker. Somewhere on there there's a screw behind that sticker. You can usually press down on the sticker until you find the little divot where the screw is. I'll just take a utility knife and cut that label. You don't have to completely expose it, just so you can get to that Torx bit. And then just go ahead and start removing Torx bits. And just remove all the screws from around the outside case. You should find that most every screw on here is a number 9 Torx. Once you get all the screws out, flip it over and remove all the screws you can find on the other side. It may not be necessary to remove all the screws, but I couldn't say for sure exactly which screws hold it together. I always just pull them all out. Now you should be able to start pulling parts off of here. Warranty void if removed. We don't want to void the warranty of a bad hard drive, right? Once you get all the screws removed, take a screwdriver, work around the edges so you can pop that case open. Sometimes they're a little stubborn and you may need a couple. There we go. So this part right here is the part that houses both the magnets. Usually there's two magnets, there's one on the top and one on the bottom. So this is really the only piece that we're interested in. Again take your number nine. So you want to pull this piece out of there. And this is where the magnets are. We're not concerned with anything here. There are some kind of cool parts and pieces and stuff in here if you're into Maybe trying to make something out of that. There are some cool little gadgets in there that you might be able to use. I don't worry about that stuff. This is what we're interested in. So you want to take a screwdriver and pop these apart. You'll spend all day trying to pull them apart by hand because the magnets are so strong. So here's the magnet right here. Now you can take a screwdriver and try to pry that off of there but the easiest way that I've found to get that off of there is to clamp it in a vise. So you want to take your piece, clamp it in pretty much anywhere other than on the magnet. Clamp that thing down in your vise, and you got to be careful because that magnet will grab hold of just about anything. Take a pair of channel locks and just bend that piece of metal to where the edges of that magnet come up, and then they come right off. The same thing with the other side. Just bend it. It comes right off. Sometimes this little foil coating comes loose. It's usually only on one side and you can just peel that off of there. If you're going to glue this to a project or something, you just glue it on the back side. That way your front side's nice and smooth and clean. Well, there you go couple of really really strong magnets they're really hard to pull apart when they get stuck together be careful too because they will pinch your fingers if you get the little piece of skin in between there it does hurt 
Now they're, they're kind of an odd shape, but I haven't found that to be really a big deal. Uh, if you can take a Forstner bit or something and just make you a little recess in the back of a project or something, that'll fit right in there. A little bit of epoxy holds it in just good, and they work really well. They're really strong. If you haven't ever tried it, give these things a try. I think you'll like them. Probably, maybe the hardest part is finding enough hard drives if you've got a big project. But anytime I have a bad hard drive, I always take the magnets out of there. So after a while, you get a few collected up and keep them around. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Hope you found it useful. Like I said, try out those magnets. They work really well. They're free. It's a bad hard drive. You don't have to go buy anything. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you watching. Also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate your support. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, on Facebook. Send me an email, homebuiltshop at gmail.com. Thanks a lot for watching.